Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. Our goal is to use these balls to collect all these stars. These balls are coming out pretty fast. I think we have enough speed to make a roller coaster that collects all these stars. I wanna see if we can make some loop-de-loops and do some crazy stuff. And I'm thinking let's use a lot of circles. So let's do x squared plus y squared equals one. And let's move the circle up to here. So this has a center of zero, zero. We can go minus zero, minus zero. So this has a center of zero, zero and a radius of one. If we wanna move this circle up here to this point with a center of negative five, six, we would say plus five, that moves it left, and then minus six, we'll move it up. It's gonna run into the circle here, so we wanna make a cut right here. The center of the circle is at negative five, so when we make the cut, we wanna do the squiggle brackets and say x is greater than negative five. And now when we hit launch, it'll kick the balls up here. Now let's find out what circle this is based off of. Let's copy this one and let's move the center up maybe to there and let's increase the radius to three, four. All right, that is exactly this circle. So if we wanna have the piece inside there, let's shrink the radius to three. And now we have first part of our roller coaster. I wanna cut this circle right here so we don't have any of this stuff. So the line will be y equals negative x plus two. We wanna cut it right there. And if we do less than, that means we're gonna keep everything below this line and get rid of everything above it. So I'll put the braces and we'll plug this into there. And now we have the first part of our roller coaster. It's exciting. Next, let's put a circle right here that collects that star. Let's copy this again, and let's make it smaller. And let's scoot it over. That looks good, but I wanna make this a little bit bigger. I want the star inside of the roller coaster. So let's say 0.75, and let's scoot this over here. Okay, I think that's gonna look right. And then we'll have one other circle that is one radius. Yeah, have the radius one smaller. Okay. Now I wanna cut both of these right here. We'll say y is greater than the center of 10, and the same thing for this one down here. All right, that looks good. Let's do another large one that swings down here and hits this star. So we want the center, I guess about right here. Let's copy a circle first. Let's move the center to 310. We'll change the x to minus three. Okay, and then let's increase the radius until we hit both those stars. Let's scoot it over and make it a little smaller. And I'm liking this. Let's cut it here and here. So we'll make two restrictions. We'll do y is less than the middle, which is 10, and x is less than the middle, which is two. And that is perfect. And let's put the top part of our roller coaster. It'll be the same thing but we're gonna shrink the radius by one. That's perfect, I love it. Nice. I wanna put the loop-de-loop -loop right here. Let's copy this circle. Let's make the radius smaller like that. Let's bring it down. I like this one. I wanna keep most of this loop. Let's cut it right here and here. So we're gonna have another y equals negative x plus looks like 5.5 right here, that looks right. So we're gonna say greater than, because we wanna keep all of this of the circle, and then we'll put that into the restriction and get rid of this. Nice. Perfect, there's our loop-de-loop. -loop. And now let's do the inside of the loop-de-loop. -loop. I think it's gonna be the same circle with the radius one smaller. And should I cut that too? I'll cut that too. Let's make this 6.5. All right, that's nice and clean. Now we need to put holes in this so that the balls can come through. So let's take this green one, I'll drag it down here, and let's copy it. I want one part of it to be less than negative one, and the other part to be from negative one to two. And there should be a hole right there. Why is there not a hole? Oh, this should be from zero to two. Now we have the hole right here, let's check that. Okay, that looks good. Now let's put a hole in this one. So let's drag this down here. 
let's copy it and let's do the same thing. We'll do one less than negative one and then the other one is gonna be from zero to two. Okay, all right, the hole worked, but now these ended up hitting right here. Let's shift this one up a tiny bit. Let's make this 10, a 10.1. So I shifted the whole thing up a little bit. Let's drag this one down 0.1. And then just to make this look nice, let's bring this down 0.1 as well. And now let's try that. All right, there we go, our loop-de-loop. -loop. So this is hitting right here. Let's put in a line x equals negative one, and let's restrict it from 5.4 to 6.5. 5.4 is less than y is less than 6.5. Nice, oh, it's perfect. And let's fill this in too. So this will be x equals zero, possibly with the same, no, we gotta go a little lower. Let's go down to 4.85. All right, here we go. Nice. And it looks like there's a little gap right here. Let's extend the green one. We'll go 2.1. Okay, now they're touching. Now let's do a circle down here and make another loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's copy this circle. Let's get rid of the restrictions. Let's shrink it down. Let's bring it to like that. Let's scoot it over here. Let's make it a plus two. And let's bring it down here, let's say plus one. That looks perfect. Let's cut it at y equals negative x minus one. That is lined up. So we're gonna keep all of this part of the circle. So we'll paste this into here. Let's give it the inner circle. We'll copy this and give us a radius of one. But I really wanna make it look like a roller coaster everywhere, so let's connect some of these lines of well, x equals negative one and we'll go from positive one to 4.42 oh that's gonna be too high 4.28 i think that looks good and let's make this line here which would be x equals zero and let's cut it at 3.7 and then this line here is y equals one and we want to restrict that from negative two to negative one and then let's do this piece, this piece, and this piece. X equals zero from zero to negative one. And then this piece would be Y equals zero from negative two to negative one. And X equals negative one from negative one to zero. And let's cut this little piece here. So we're gonna do Y equals negative X minus one, two. So that's on this circle way up here, but already has a restriction. Let's make this a negative two. There we go. Awesome. Now we just need another circle over here. Let's copy this circle. Let's get rid of this restriction and let's bring it over here. Let's make this a minus two. That looks perfect. And let's copy it and then make one with the radius bigger. Love it. And let's cut this one here. So it'll be y equals x minus one. All right, let's check it out. I love it. Let's connect this right here. So that would be y equals one from zero to two. And then we need another line down here. Let's do the same thing for y equals zero. I want there to be an exit for the roller coaster as well. Let's cut this circle at x greater than two. And let's give it a fancy exit at the end. I'll take this circle here and let's bring it down. Let's go to there and let's cut it at X less than two. And now let's just copy that a whole bunch of times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that might be enough. Then let's bring each of these down by one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11, it's perfect. And then let's change every other one of these to be greater than, oh, I love it, perfect. And we could even do one more, make this greater than, now let's go down one. All right, and here's our roller coaster. We've guided the balls all the way through, have two loop-de-loops and a fun exit. How exciting. I'm noticing there's this extra piece right here. Let's cut that off. We'll say X is greater than two. There we go. 
And here's the answer to Marvel slide 13 as a roller coaster. How exciting.